Well, just real quick, I mean, obviously, down 3 nothing. you're getting outshot 21-1. You throw that shot up, Karai picks it up, 3-1, life. How big a point is that for you? You would have liked two, but. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a big point, but right now we want that second one for sure. There's no doubt about it. Um, you know, there was we had some really hard times in the beginning of the game and came together as a group and came back against a good hockey team. Um, Got to put that away. Just to put the rally, though, I mean, to, to tie it at three, to take yeah. a 4-3 lead, uh, showed a lot of resiliency in bottling Florida up. I mean, yep. Martin, 35 saves, I think. This, I yep. mean, unreal. He did great. Um, yeah, I, you know, we did some good things, for sure. There's going to be some good things on video. There's going to be some stuff we get to, to learn from. But, you know, right this moment, you, yeah. you want that second point, for sure. I'm sorry if they already asked you, but like, what was that like in that first 10 minutes where they're just kind of dominating? Um, you guys know you have to try and turn it around somehow, but uh, like, how, how do you, how do you kind of get a hold of that thing and turn it around? Yeah, you just go as simple as possible, start skating, start getting physical, which is what we did. Um, you know, just simplify your game to to the most basic way of playing hockey. Going north doesn't matter how or how many times it takes you to do that. Just just go north with it, get physical with it, and put pucks on the net. So. Um, you know, we got our game going. Are you starting to look for your shot a little bit more? Yeah, it's yeah, for sure. Like it, yeah, for sure, absolutely. Um, I have a good shot. I'm pretty good at getting it through. So, um, you know, I'm not doing anything crazy with it, but I'm, I'm looking for those walls. Yeah. I mean, you're obviously looking to score goals, but um, I mean, the, it, with the kind of power you can put on that thing, you know, it can create rebounds and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, often, oftentimes I'm looking for rebounds. If it goes in, that's a plus. But I'm just trying to create some chaos in front of the net. I'm, you know. I'm on the other end of it constantly throughout a game, and it, it, it sucks being in front of the net when one of those soft ones come in and you don't know where it's going. You know, there's no there's no plan in place for how to defend a shot, so uh, that's why that's why you try and get so many of them. Eric, I'm sorry if you've had this one already, but just talk about the effort that Spencer gave you coming in cold like that. Yeah, yeah, he did great. He did great. Um, played an excellent game against a tough team that crashes the net hard and, and um, you know makes his night very difficult. I, I, he was awesome. And the message has been believing yourselves here for the last couple of weeks. How, how important was just having that belief that you could dig, dig yourself out of that hole in the first? Big time. I mean, it's all things we, we can control. Um, you know, that wasn't the way we want to play the game, obviously, and that's what happened. So we, you know, we left Elvis out to dry, and, um, you know, they got three quick ones. And, um, you know, once we started, you know, battling, skating, Getting a little physical, uh, our game came to us, and um, like I said, it was just self-inflicted there at the start. But uh, we got our feet under us and got going there in the, in the second and third. So a couple of guys have mentioned the physicality and how important that is for you guys to lay the body. Was that what started to turn things for you a little bit? Yeah, it was part of it. I think it, uh, it just when you're engaged physically, you're in the game and you're uh, you know physically invested, and um, it just gets us our team, I think, into the game and engage more. So. Um, it, it helps and uh, brings everyone into it. Uh, I remember a couple of years ago, you guys were a team that had the identity of when you were trailing, you were always seemingly still in a game, able to battle back. Do you feel like you're starting right now as a squad to build that back up again? For sure, we have that belief. Uh, we have that belief in here. And like I said, we, when they were, um, you know, buzzing us there in the first, we know, we know why. We just weren't playing, and um, you know, we just. You know, had to man up, um, you know, and, and start playing and give ourselves a chance. And when we do that, we're we're a good hockey team. So obviously, um, you know, into the second and third, we're a lot better team. I, I believe Crowley's goal was the second shot of the game for you guys. Just how big of a lift was it at that moment to be able to kind of get a goal, get something on the board, and then you know try and tilt the momentum back your way? No, big time. Um, that line got us going there. Uh, they had a couple good shifts you know, near the end of the first and to get one. Um, that's what we needed to get going. And um, like I said, we, we you know left Elvis up to drive for, you know, a lot of shots there and Marty came in and made some huge saves too to, to get us going. That Did was, you feed off of that off of Spencer's play? Because he, he was stopping everything that was thrown at him. Yeah, big time. He came in and um, you know we weren't playing well and he came in and um, you know made some saves, like I said, throughout the whole game. And uh, you know, we got playing, we um, you know got on our toes and um, he was he was you know, awesome for us all night. How, how yep. do you walk away from a game like this? And like, what, how do you feel? I mean, it's like the you, you just mentioned the first ten minutes, not the way you want to play. The rest of the game, for the most part, is. I mean, hockey's just kind of a weird sport, isn't it? Sometimes. Yeah, it's. I mean, obviously, we want that extra point. Um, you know, right now, but um, 
you know, obviously there's some positives, but uh, some negatives that we can learn from as well. So, um, you know, as a group, we we can't start like that. Um, it's it's tough to start like that, but um, you know, obviously I liked the way we got back into the game, but um, obviously want to get another point out of this. Spencer, you seem to, to thrive almost in these situations where you come in cold. Just what were your feelings as you went into this game? I mean, I, you just you feel bad for your goalie partner. I mean, he, uh, I know he was prepared and, you know, these things happen to every, every goalie and, uh, you know, uh, they were obviously bringing it to us and then the first there. So, uh, yeah, just have to be, do your job, you know, I have the best job in the world. So, uh, I'm never upset to get in there. Is that quick jolt of adrenaline almost something that gets you more fired up than if you knew all day you were going to start? Uh, maybe, maybe you don't think about it as much, but there is some nerves. It's weird. It's like hard to calm down at first, but uh, you know, just once you get settled in there, there's some shots early, so it felt good. And to have your team get on the board for you in the first period, that had to help you, I would imagine, just, okay, take a breath, relax a little bit about it, too. Yeah, it didn't, didn't surprise me at all that we responded. You know, I love the guys in this room so much. Like, they, uh, they battle. It seems like we've done that type of thing in a few games already. Mm -hmm. And, uh, man, I would have really wished to, to get the win there for them. Spencer, you've been on both ends of this, either on the bench while somebody else is in trouble or in trouble yourself. What, at what point, like, which of those goals do you start thinking, you know what, one more and I might be the guy in there? I don't know if I was thinking like that. Um, I mean, Elvis has shown that he's, you know, more than capable of, you know, letting in an early goal that's not his fault than just completely having a great game. Like, uh, he let in two in the last game and was outstanding the rest of the game. So, um, yeah, I don't know if I was thinking like that. Um, you, had a, uh, you had a front row seat for that first 10 minutes, obviously. So when you get the call, I mean, you know they're coming. I mean, is it what, what's going through your mind at that at that moment when you're like, they're, they're coming pretty hard? I mean, just, you know, as a goalie, the game doesn't really change. You just have to see every uh, situation for what it is and uh, take it one shot at a time, and then you eventually start to build some momentum. And, you know, like I said, we responded really well. And, uh, yeah. When, when Bob and Cole got engaged, you were quite a ways down the ice. At what point did you say, well, maybe I better stop here? Uh, well, I just don't want to get a penalty or screw up the momentum that we had at that point. Uh, I'm much more comfortable playing goalie than doing anything else. <laughs> the obvious question just out of you know, how nice it was to get on the board there. Uh, it's been kind of a tough start from a scoring perspective for you, so it had to feel pretty good to, to get that one. Yeah, obviously. It's always good to score, you know, and go through a tough time to be out of uh, scoring, then uh, it's always tough as a player, but uh, you know, it's good to get one. Obviously, uh, we wanted to win, we'll feel better, but uh, yeah, it's good to, good to get one. Yeah. Have you had to ward off maybe a little bit of frustration just because the goals haven't been coming up to this point, or have you just been focused on your game and not worrying about that production standpoint? Yeah, I think, not, to be honest, I think coaching staff and and uh, the old oldest player, they just helped me. Uh, you know, I talked a lot with the coaches about that, and they were just saying, like, keep playing your game. At some point, it's going to come if you play the right way, and I think I'm I'm just going to do it, and at some point, you know, it, it's coming, and it was tonight, so it, it's good. And uh, But it just, it's just one, so, you know, I just have to keep working and, and do it again. What does it say about this team that you were down 3 nothing so early, were able to kind of find your footing, get back in this game, and, and at least get a point? Now you guys want the two, but uh, I think you guys are kind of starting to build up a little bit of belief when you're, in, when you're down that you can come back. Yeah, obviously, but I think we, I think we went out of our game uh, right from, from the start. You know, the first period down 3 nothing. Uh, that's not what we wanted. And, uh, but great, great comeback. I think we show something. Uh, we talked to each other in the, after the first, and uh, we came back. Uh, Pretty strong play our game, uh, simple game, and uh, it works. So we just have to do it uh, from the start uh, the next game. Pascal, how do, how do you feel after a game like that that looks lost and then you get back? I mean, I, I just what are your yeah. emotions after a game? Uh, lot, well, different kinds of emotions during the game. Um, but you crawl your way back into the game and, and uh, just one mistake. Really, and then you're in overtime. Um, so it's frustrating. It's disappointing for the guys because I thought we expected um, a storm early in the game after uh, Florida lost against Chicago. So we expected that 
maybe not that kind of push, but it was a hard push. And uh, we didn't manage it well, don't get me wrong. Um, but then we got back into it. Second period was much better. We, we gave ourselves a chance. Scored two goals in the first, but really, we, we, the last seven minutes of the first period, we started to play. Second period. So you're back into it and then got the lead. Um, special teams did a good job. So lots of emotions tonight. Good ones, not so good ones. Um, but it's disappointing. What, uh, what flipped the switch for you? What, what did you start doing that you weren't doing maybe early in the game? Uh, well, we were defending better. The first, I uh, felt the first 10 minutes, we were just watching the other team. And then we got away. We were just trying to contain and maintain. And that's not our style of play. We need to be aggressive. Winning one-on-one -on -one battles. There's, I mean, <clears throat> we didn't win any races. We didn't win any one-on-ones. And part of it is we faced a team that was really hungry. And then those guys, not too long ago, they were in the final of the Stanley Cup. Uh, that's a real good hockey team. Well coached, obviously, and, and structured, but they were hungry. And, um, and then we got back to it. Once we figured out that we can play with them, it got better. It seemed like you leaned on the uh, Corrali line when you needed to reset there late in the first period, and then they delivered for you, not just their straight-on style of play, but getting that first goal, too. Yeah, well, I, I felt um, his line was playing the right way. And we're just talking about the fundamentals. Um, they gave us some momentum. They scored a big goal. So when you play well, you get rewarded. Um, Erica Brand <coughs> two pretty nice plays there in that first period. It gets the assist on the first goal yep. and then that, that stick check that you know, leads to the second one. Just, I mean, he seems like, first of all, it looks like, like he's taking his shot more often now. Is that something that you maybe have talked to him about or is that just something he's kind of doing? No, we haven't talked to him about that. He, he has a good shot. Mm -hmm. uh, but this style of play, he's, I think he's playing the best hockey of his life right now. He's, he's, he's physical. Uh, he's got a good stick. He's boxing out. He's blocking shots, a lot of shots. Um, there's a reason why he doesn't practice. He's not 100%, but he's a, he's a tough man. And when I say that, I'm not talking about his fighting. And he's all in, so he's, he's playing really good hockey. Simple game, but it's very, very effective. And as a veteran, I mean, just kind of the message that sends the rest of your team is huge too, right? Well, yeah, he, he fits the um, culture we're trying to install and, and the standards and uh, what we're trying to do. So. He's, he's playing extremely well. He's taking his role very seriously. He's a, he's a real good pro. He's a mature man, and, and, and uh, he believes in the team, and he, I, it seems like he believes in, believes in, in himself right now. So um, he's playing really good hockey. And that Marchenko power play goal, and that <coughs> unit as a whole, it was very important for your team to get power yeah. play goal, especially trying to get that comeback. How important was his unit tonight? Uh, re really important, and, and they were, uh, they've were they been quite effective um, on that play. Provorov um, changes, the look, changes the look by uh, dragging the puck on the blue line, but with authority. And, um, and we went to the net. It was a real good play, but it started at the blue line with uh, Provorov. Remember two seasons ago, this was a team that seemingly was never out of a game. And it's, it's still pretty early here, but do you like, there's been a couple of these games where you've been in holes and able to battle back. Do you like the resiliency that they're starting to build, it seems like, throughout these games? Yeah, of course. I feel like we're never out of it. Even what the first period, it didn't feel that way, to be honest with you. But um, there, there's, we're a young team. And sometimes when you face us, that kind of push, uh, they're, they're still trying to figure out how to manage it. And it's going to come with time. But the desire to do well and to ex execute the right plays, I, I know it's there. It, it's just uh, just that that team, when we play the way we can play, uh, we can be very dangerous. And uh, we just got to figure out how to manage uh, those push and, and, and playing against older teams. So if you look at the games that we've played, when we play against an older team, a veteran team, a physical team, we, we don't manage it as well. And, and that's OK, because we're a younger team. That's fine. But how do we manage that? And we stay in the game. So the positive is, well, Spencer Martin was outstanding. And we came back. We crawled back, crawled back in the game. Now, how do we manage the rest of it? I mean, individual mistakes. We can't blame uh, the whole team. But a 
few in the individual mistakes in in uh, the end of the game, and that cost us two points. Uh, Elvis was under siege right away. Obviously, that well, was a, that was I'm not blaming goal. Elvis yeah, yeah, whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. You look at the three goals. I mean, there's he doesn't see the shot from the blue line. The first one, he's you know he's playing the puck, and the guy should, makes a right decision. Like Elvis was fine. It's not. I wanted to change the momentum of the game yeah. uh, because it wasn't his fault.